Moscow's Gorky Park attracts tens of thousands of visitors each day. And football fans here are getting a 2022 World Cup preview. This is Majlis Qatar, a temporary exhibition giving visitors a taste of what to expect in Qatar in four years. Organisers of the Qatar World Cup have been watching and learning. Look, I think there's a lot of takeaways that, you know, organisationally we've learned a lot. Uh, in terms of security, we've learned a lot, but I think also fan experience and what they've been able to offer fans here is something that we're going to take home as well. Among the attention-grabbing events, a football match featuring legends of the game, including Didier Drogba and David Trezeguet. There are already a number of concerns surrounding the 2022 hosts, not least whether the country can cope with the massive influx of football fans. The majority of stadiums will be built within a radius of 25 kilometres. There are concerns about the lack of accommodations and overcrowding. Well, look, I mean, uh, you have to look at the World Cup in Qatar as you would look at an Olympics. And that's the way we're viewing it. So for us, what we need to make sure is look at Qatar as a canvas, look at Qatar as the entire sort of uh, place of congregation. And we need to make sure that we cater to that. We need to make sure that we have enough for fans in various locations in Qatar so that we have several points of congregation. Since winning the right to host the tournament in 2010, the main criticism facing Qatar centres on its human rights record. A report last year by Human Rights Watch claimed Qatari authorities are still not doing enough to protect migrant workers. But organisers say that situation is changing. It's something that the government has been looking at uh, from prior to the World Cup of making certain changes and certain reform. Uh, the World Cup has accelerated it. Uh, we, we're very happy with the progress that's been made and we think that Qatar has, has come a long way when it comes to workers' rights. Qatar has a little over four years before the World Cup becomes a reality. The clock is ticking for organisers to prove the sceptics wrong. Dan Williams, CGTN, Moscow.